I'm here with Sandia combustion chemists Craig Tatchis and David Osborne, and they've both co-authored a paper that's going to be featured in Science Magazine. So guys, let's get right to it. Uh, Craig, why don't you explain to us what this research is about? Well, we've been interested in hydrocarbon oxidation in the combustion research facility for, for obvious reasons. And in doing this, we're interested in looking at how different intermediates react. And some of these are very hard to, they're hard to isolate because they react so quickly. And we have just discovered a way to make one of these um, intermediates called a Kriege intermediate um, in a new way. And we've measured some of the rate constants, so how fast these molecules react um, for the first time ever. David, uh, who were the, were, did we have collaborators or, or partners on this project and, and who funded the work? The instrument is really unique in the world and it's funded by the chemical physics program in the Office of Science of the Department of Energy. And our mandate really is to study combustion reactions and understand their complete mechanisms. It turns out that this apparatus is also really useful for studying reactions important in atmospheric chemistry. And so our collaborators come from the University of Manchester and the University of Bristol in England. Okay, very good. Uh, Craig, you mentioned, uh, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, Kriege intermediate. Mm -hmm. um, what are the significance of, of those uh, materials or molecules or what, what exactly are Kriege inter intermediates and why do we need to understand them? Well, they were discovered by Rudolf Kriege or they were postulated by Rudolf Kriege. Um, as intermediates in ozonolysis, so the reaction of ozone with hydrocarbons. And this is something that's very important, for example, in, in Earth's troposphere. Um, but they're interesting molecules on their own, and they also appear in other oxidation, um, in other oxidation systems, for example, in ignition chemistry. They are, they're thought to be markers for some important um, uh, auto-ignition chain branching processes. So there's another example of how combustion chemistry and, and other hydrocarbon oxidation uh, reactions like in the troposphere really have a lot in common. And these molecules just haven't really been very well understood in the past? Well, um, you know, people sort of knew that they existed just based on products of ozonolysis, but no one had seen any of these kinds of molecules in the gas phase until about three years ago when we found it with, with uh, David's instrument. Okay, and that's a good segue. David, I know that you designed and, and built this in instrument uh, th that I think we have here in, in the lab, can you, can you describe that, um, that research tool and explain why it's such a unique tool? Yes, I can. So it really comes in two parts. First, we have a chemical reactor where we can, under very dilute conditions, run these reactions where we can slow them down so they happen slowly enough that we can study them and learn what we need to about them. The second part, uh, which I think is where the big innovation came, is that we use what's called a mass spectrometer to weigh each individual molecule that's produced. And we do that in a way where we can distinguish different isomers. So an isomer is the same atoms, but bonded together in different ways. And it turns out that when you bond the atoms together in different ways, they have very different chemical reactivities. So the way we weigh them using photoionization from a synchrotron at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, we can separate these different isomers and we do it all simultaneously. It's that combination of the chemical reactor and the special mass spectrometer that is unique. And these intermediates, these Kriege intermediates, they are isomers of much of more stable um, molecules. And so really it's this isomer specific detection that we need, that we really needed to, to do this work. Very good. Well, congratulations to the both of you on your um, publication in science and congratulations on your research. Thank you. Thank you.